As a federal agency, the National Aeronautics and Space Administration NASA receives its funding from the annual federal budget passed by the United States Congress. The following charts detail the amount of federal funding allotted to NASA each year over its past 60-year history 1958 to, to operate aeronautics research, unmanned and manned space exploration programs. Topic annual budget seen in the year-by-year -year breakdown listed below, the total amounts in nominal dollars that NASA has been budgeted from 1958 to 2018 amounts to $601.31 billion. By way of comparison, total spending over the 50-year period 1958-2008 by the National Science Foundation was roughly one-fifth of NASA's expenditures, $101.5 billion. NASA's FY 2011 budget of $18.4 billion represented about 0.5% of the $3.4 trillion United States federal budget during that year, or about 35% of total spending on academic scientific research in the United States, according to the Office of Management and Budget and the Air Force Almanac. When measured in real terms, adjusted for inflation in today's current value dollars, the total cumulative figure to date would equal $1.32 trillion, an average average of $22.03 billion per year over its 60-year history. NASA's 2018 budget is $19.100 billion in 2018 dollars, roughly equal to NASA's 1963 budget of $2.55 billion. However, as a percentage of federal spending, NASA's budget is significantly lower than in 1963 and is actually more like 1960. Notes for table, sources for a part of these data, U.S. Office of Management and Budget um, needs proper citation link, numbers here differ from NASA Pocket Statistics, Air Force Association's Air Force Magazine 2007 Space Almanac Secondary References, 2, 3, 4 topic NASA Employment topic Cost of Apollo Program NASA's budget peaked in 1964-66, when it consumed roughly 4% of federal spending. The agency was building up to the first moon landing. The Apollo program involved more than 34,000 NASA employees and 375,000 employees of industrial and university contractors. In March 1966, NASA officials told Congress that the 1959 to 72 runout cost of the Apollo program would be an estimated $22.718 billion. The total cost turned out to be between $20 and $25.4 billion in $1,969, about $136 billion in 2007 dollars. The costs of the Apollo spacecraft and Saturn rockets came to about $83 billion in 2005 dollars. Apollo spacecraft cost $28 billion, including the command, service module, $17 billion, lunar module, $11 billion, and launch vehicles Saturn I, Saturn IB, Saturn V cost about $46 billion in 2005 dollars. Topic Economic impact of NASA funding A November 1971 study of NASA released by Mariglobal formerly Midwest Research Institute of Kansas City, Missouri Technological Progress and Commercialization of Communication Satellites, in, Economic Impact of Stimulated Technological Activity concluded that the $25 billion in $1,958 spent on civilian space R&D during the 1958-1969 period has returned $52.5 billion through 1971 and will continue to produce payoffs through 1987, at which time the total payoff will have been $181 billion. The discounted rate of return for this investment will have been 33%. A 1992 commentary in the British science journal Nature reported, the economic benefits of NASA's programs are greater than generally realized. The main beneficiaries the American public may not even realize the source of their good fortune. Other statistics on NASA's economic impact may be found in the 1976 Chase Econometrics Associates, Inc. Reports and backed by the 1989 Chapman Research Report, which examined 259 non-space applications of NASA technology during an eight-year period 1976 to 1984 and found more than 21.6 billion dollars in sales and benefits 352,000 mostly skilled jobs created or saved 355 million dollars in federal corporate income tax according to the nature commentary these 259 applications represent only 1% of an estimated 25,000 to 30,000 space program spin-offs
In 2014, the American Helicopter Society criticized NASA and the government for reducing the annual rotorcraft budget from $50 million in 2000 to $23 million in 2013, impacting commercial opportunities. Topic: <laughs> Public perception. The perceived national security threat posed by early Soviet leads in spaceflight drove NASA's budget to its peak, both in real inflation-adjusted dollars and in a percentage of the total federal budget 4 in 1966. But the U.S. victory in the space race—landing men on the moon erased the perceived threat, and NASA was unable to sustain political support for its vision of an even more ambitious space transportation system entailing reusable Earth-to-orbit shuttles, a permanent space station, lunar bases, and a manned mission to Mars. Only a scaled-back space shuttle was approved, and NASA's funding leveled off at just under 1% in 1976, then declined to 0.75% in 1986. After a brief increase to 1.01% in 1992, it declined to about 0.49% in 2013. The American public, on average, believes NASA's budget has a much larger share of the federal budget than it actually does. A 1997 poll reported that Americans had an average estimate of 20% for NASA's share of the federal budget, far higher than the actual 0.5% to under 1% that has been maintained throughout the late 90s and first decade of the 2000s. It is estimated that most Americans spent less than $9 on NASA through personal income tax in 2009. However, there has been a recent movement to communicate discrepancy between perception and reality of NASA's budget as well as lobbying to return the funding back to the 1970 to 1990 level. The United States Senate Science Committee met in March 2012 where astrophysicist Neil deGrasse Tyson testified that, "Right now, NASA's annual budget is half a penny on your tax dollar." For twice that a penny on a dollar we can transform the country from a sullen, dispirited nation, weary of economic struggle, to one where it has reclaimed its 20th century birthright to dream of tomorrow. Inspired by Tyson's advocacy and remarks, the Penny for NASA campaign was initiated in 2012 by John Zeller and advocates the doubling of NASA's budget to 1% of the federal budget, or one penny on the dollar to help with public perception and to raise awareness regarding the widespread benefits of NASA-funded programs and technologies, NASA instituted the spin-offs publication. This was a direct offshoot of the Technology Utilization Program Report, a publication dedicated to informing the scientific community about available NASA technologies, and ongoing requests received for supporting information. According to the NASA spin-off about page the technologies in these reports created interest in the technology transfer concept, its successes, and its use as a public awareness tool. The reports generated such keen interest by the public that NASA decided to make them into an attractive publication. Thus, the first four-color edition of spin-off was published in 1976. Topic. Political opposition to NASA funding Both far-left and far-right political groups have opposed increased funding for NASA and Earth sciences in the past. Far-left groups have traditionally opposed NASA and space research funding on the grounds that the funds would be better spent on social programs, welfare safety nets, and food aid programs. In 2012, the Obama administration made significant cuts to NASA's budget while increasing spending on social programs. Funding for NASA and space research has received more support from free market conservatives who view it as a way to maintain American scientific and technological superiority. Nevertheless, some far right groups have opposed NASA funding in the past. In the late 1990s, far right political groups opposed the Earth science aspects of NASA spending. These opponents were skeptical of climate change and they argued that spending on Earth science programs, particularly climate research, is in pursuit of political agendas. Under the Republicans' FY 2018 budget, NASA received support and overall funding was increased. Topic. Related legislation 1961. Apollo mission funding place 87-98A 1970. National Aeronautics and Space Administration Research and Development Act, place 91-119 
1984. National Aeronautics and Space Administration Authorization Act, Place 98-361 1988. National Aeronautics and Space Administration Authorization Act, Place 100-685 2005. National Aeronautics and Space Administration Authorization Act of 2005, Place 109-155 2010. National Aeronautics and Space Administration Authorization Act of 2010 2014. Proposed, National Aeronautics and Space Administration Authorization Act of 2014 H.R. 4412, 113th Congress 2017. NASA Transition Authorization Act of 2017, Place 115-10 See also Space policy of the United States Federal budget United States Budget Space exploration Vision for space exploration Topic Notes Topic References Topic External links Table 1 NASA's budget compared to other federal government expenditures 1999 data. Table 2 NASA's budget compared to various consumer expenditures 1997 data. Table 3 NASA's budget compared to the budgets of the 50 state governments 1997 data. Table 4 NASA's budget compared to revenues of various large corporations 1998 data. NASA – Budget Documents, Strategic Plans and Performance Reports NASA – Budget Information